Fish TV Golden Apple Award is presented by Bailey and Wood Mortgage Lender. And Wish TV honors local teachers every month with our Golden Apple Award. We started it before the pandemic, but during this past very unconventional school year, parents and students have said that teachers have been essential to helping them overcome the hardships. This month's winner teaches a group of students left behind by the closure of school buildings. They're first graders who, for all intents and purposes, did not have kindergarten. News 8's Brenna Donnelly is here with their story and... Of course, the surprise. Of course, the surprise. You know, this is something I hadn't thought of, right? Kids just switch to online learning, but there are kids out there who haven't learned before. They've never been in a classroom. So making that switch was extra hard, which is why we awarded Miss Alex DeSutter with this month's Golden Apple Award. She teaches first grade at Pittsburgh Primary School. Her nomination came from a parent who wanted to say thank you. I knew he had the ability to read, but he just wasn't doing it. Aubrey Plume's son Liam has a great memory, but struggled after the pandemic closed kindergarten. I tried to talk to the teacher before and say, he's not reading, he's memorizing. No, 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 he's fine, he's fine. Well, he's not fine. So we started first grade in Miss Alex DeSutter's class, far behind. Just had a conversation with her over Zoom and said, look, I'm very concerned. She believed me, she trusted what I was saying. She put together, and here I am like getting in tears right now, she put together homework for him. In a few months, Liam was reading above age level. But to have somebody who cared enough about my kid, my single child, to do all that she did to help my, who loved my kid enough to help, is something I can't express enough thanks for. The story is similar for classmate Austin Casertano. He was just getting in his group with learning and we were so excited and then school shut down. And now? He went above where he needs to be and all thanks to her. She's undoing pandemic damage in her own fun way, pulling double duty, teaching in person and online. The teachers have um, shown grit. And it was, it's a, it's very hard to speak about because the level of pride is just, it's overwhelming. Um, they, they work tirelessly to ensure that not only are these children learning their academics, but their social emotional needs are met. Not surprisingly, we've seen a lot more anxiety than we have in other years. Separation anxiety, it's harder when you've been around your parents for so long. The school counselor says kids need a safe person at school. If I can pat Mrs. Sutter on the back, she does a great job about having that consistency. If we feel safe, if we feel comfortable, then learning is going to blossom. Are you nervous? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to surprise her. She is going to I be she's gonna, floored. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Can we interrupt class for a minute? Sure. You're Mr. Sutter. Yes. Come here for a second. Do you have any idea why we might be in your classroom I today? I have no idea. <laughs> We're here because you have won the Wish TV Golden Apple Award for being an exceptional teacher. Thank you. <laughs> 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 you were nominated by parents and students and your kids as well just love you and we wanted to give you this award today it comes with more than just this classroom surprise okay. Bailey and Wood is our sponsor partner and they have some extra bonus things for you on this special award day Bailey Wood is here to present that for you Here's your trophy. Thank you. We just wanted to say congratulations. Thank you for so much of everything that you do for your kids. It is really inspiring to hear your story. And we have another surprise that your family's holding. They want to flip that around. That's, that's just for you to say thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling right now? I'm shocked. <laughs> did, we, did we catch you off guard? Yes, you did. The surprise wasn't spoiled at all? No, I had no idea. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> the kids have a surprise for you, too. Okay. A tiny book. Aww. <laughs> thank you. We've got another surprise oh, for you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> She's an incredible teacher. She's fabulous, resilient, she's hardworking. She really cares about what she does. She's very positive. Thanks to her, I feel confident in my classroom. Nice teacher. <laughs> Mr. Sutter took care of me. Thanks for teaching us. 
I found out later that I was one of her inspirations to want to become a teacher, and so that really makes me proud. And, okay, <laughs> like that's the sentence you have to stop on. Uh, it's just amazing to see as she's grown up because I would do anything for my kid. I would do anything, but there's only so much I can do. And she loved him enough to do something I couldn't give him. And I'm, I'll never be able to pay that back. It's very, it's very touching. It's very um, humbling. Um, I obviously did not do this job for um, any other reason but to care and to be here for the kids. And I've tried to do all the things that I could for them. And it's nice to hear that it's appreciated a little bit. So. <laughs> Well, we certainly appreciate her. We thought it was extra special that a teacher who inspired her is now teaching alongside her. Mrs. Carrie Thompson, you saw her briefly. She taught Miss DeSutter back in second grade, and they're now in the same building together teaching at Pittsburgh Primary School. This week, next week, week after that, final weeks of school. Mm -hmm. You've got a pretty good list of teachers who've already <laughs> won big honors, but there's more coming. Well, there's nine total teachers for this school year, and we want to honor all of them and do a fabulous recap for our grand finale. So, yes, we've set the date June 10th at 6.30 in the evening. We've invited all of them back in studio. I'm just excited to have them all in one place, too, so they can meet each other. But we do get to award one of them the grand finale grand prize of $1,000. It's going to be wonderful. It will. I always look forward to these. <laughs> I am so excited for teachers to have a much-deserved break. Yeah. I'm going to miss these stories so much. <laughs> I love them. I love meeting these we teachers. We plan to have more teacher honoring news stories next year. Awesome. Still in the works, still shaping Still plans. in the works, yep, but yeah. you can trust that Wish TV will have teachers covered. <laughs> Good stuff. 739 right now. We're at